Hello everyone, the topic for today video is mirror therapy for peripheral nerve injury. This is outline for my video. The description of intervention. Mirror therapy was originally developed by Ramachandran and Walter Samachandran to help people with phantom limb discomfort address what they call a nerve paralysis of the painful phantom limb. The patient was able to perceive movement in the phantom limb due to the visual feedback he received from seeing the intact limb's reflections in place of the phantom limb. By Prabhu at the autumn 2015. The purpose of neurotherapy are First, it can improve motor functions and activity of daily living. It also can reduce neglect, improving sensations, reduce plasticity, and also reducing sensory impairment. Next, we go to the procedure of the interventions. The procedure of the neurotherapy are first, therapy needs to explain to the patient the aim of the neurotherapy, and then, therapy needs to ask the patient to remove all the stimulus, such as wash. And then, therapy will place the mirror in front of the patient in the midline, and then, ask the patient to position the affected limb safely and comfortably behind the mirror, and uninfected limb in front of the mirror. Then, therapy will ask the patient to follow the hand exercise which will demonstrate by the therapist. First exercise is open closed fist. For the open or closed fist, first, you need to make a fist and then open your hand slowly. Second exercise is fingertip touch. The procedure is touch your thumb to the tip of each finger. Next exercise is palm flip. The patient needs to turn palm up and down. Next is ball exercise. The artist will place the foam ball on the table and then the patient need to pick up the ball, squeeze and then place back the, the ball on the table and then let it go. Next is piano drill. This exercise is the patient need to pretend to play the piano by pushing each finger on the table one at a time. Watch close drill also can be an exercise for peripheral nerve injury. First, patient need to wipe the table in the circular motions, back and forth, and also up and down for 2 minutes. Next, exercise is leave and place drill. So, the therapist will place the water bottle on the table, and then the patient need to grab the water bottle, lift it up for 2 inches, and then the patient need to place it back on the table, and then release the grab slowly. Okay, cone exercise also suitable for mirror therapy. Therapist will place five cones on the table, and then the patient need to pick one of the coin at a time until all the coin in the patient palm, and then patient need to place back the coin on the table by using thumb, finger, and middle fingertips. Repeat this exercise for five times. Lastly is sensation exercise. For the sensation exercise, therapists will apply sensory stimuli to the non-affected limb. And then, patient can feel and describe the different material which the, which the therapist apply on the non-affected limb. Okay, for the grading, this intervention can be done minimum of 30 minutes per day and minimum 5 days per week. For the precautions, the patient will, will feel dizziness, nausea or sweating, which can be treated while they are observing the mirror reflections. So, what the patient need to do is, they need to, they need to not longer look into the mirror, but they need to focus on the unaffected limb, or they also can look at another point in the room for a while. And after they feel okay, they will they can continue the intervention. Okay. For the evidence of the interventions, first is by Hazu et al. 2019, dust based is ineffective but low cost treatment protocol to optimize sensory motor control and functional capabilities of the upper limb in the patient with peripheral, with peripheral nerve injuries. Second, study by Sabri et al. 2018. From the study, mirror visual feedback 
in conjunction with the traditional sensory retraining programmers lead to the greater improvement in the superficial sensation and touch discrimination of the hand in the first phase of the sensory relearning program. And lastly, the evidence is by Kiel and Young, Kim and Yun 2019, which is from the study, therapy significantly improve hand function and also can decrease the pain. For the conclusions, therapy is effective treating, is effective in treating pain, improving sensation, reducing sensory impairment, and also improving motor function and activity of the delivery in patients with peripheral nerve injury. However, therapy are commonly used as an intervention in the stroke patients. Furthermore, there is a lack of research on the effectiveness of the therapy for peripheral nerve injury. This is the references for neurotherapy in the peripheral nerve injury.